Hey, what's going on guys? And today I'm going to be doing a review of the Euphotica 16 inch LED fixtures. And you can see I've got three over my 125. Uh, it comes with the lights, obviously. Didn't want to focus there. Oh well. And then the wired hanging kit, it doesn't come with any sort of mount though. So you'll either have to ceiling mount these or take a piece of pipe like I did. And basically, it just attaches to the back frame. There we go. And my coral, some of it has done good under these some of these I'm not sure if it's just their placement or what but some of the ones that Kenya has in really well along with that frog spawn and that one right there is starting to encrust over the rocks and it never did that with the uh, the Kessels so so far I'm liking it and you do get a little remote with it and I'll just kind of show you what you can do. Uh, it's got a few different preset modes. First one's going to be sunny, cloudy, moon. And then you can also do a custom setup. And that will actually let you adjust it uh, each channel separately. You can do 30 minute increments or one hour increments. And that's what I run mine on is uh, the custom mode. I'm gonna just kind of show you what we got here okay so I'm just gonna go slowly up with the blues let me see if I can turn this other one off come on oh well actually here we'll put that one on custom also and you can use the same uh, remote for all fixtures sometimes I don't know what the range on it is but you might have to point it at each one okay so we've got the right two off the left one is on still and I'm just gonna start going up on the blue channel and you can adjust this in one point increments And it may be hard to tell because of the the white balance, but it is actually a much deeper blue uh, than what you see. Super blue. And that is at 70%. I'm just going to take it all the way to 100. And that's 100 straight blue. And that green slimer there. There we go. It's kind of hard to tell but it is glowing under that and then we'll raise up channel 2 also just so you can see how bright uh, it'll get maxed out keep going that's about halfway on channel 2 right there and that is full cranked 100% and if you can just look at the lighting difference, my the middle one and the one on the right are both on my custom function, and they're not even at 50% right now. And you can just see how super bright that is. Uh, I guess they're <clears throat> working with the placement. So you can see my trachophilia there is super shrunk. So I don't know if he's getting not enough light, too much, or maybe he's just mad about something else but for the most part uh, water quality issues aside these lights seem to be doing uh, really well they've got a lot of functionality I'd say even more so than the Kessels because if you don't feel like uh, you know programming with a spectral thing with these you can just put it on cloudy sunrise moon just with a, the press of a button so it's pretty simple 
Uh, the downside is you, they each have their own power cord and you can actually daisy chain kind of daisy chain them there if you want. I've got them running individually and all the controls you can do with the fiddle focus with the remote you can do here on the screen as well. Uh, another maybe annoying thing is that LED screen always stays on when it has power so there's no way to dim that and I've had these guys for probably three or four months now and I guess the thing that's grown the most is obviously that frog spawn right there in the middle but all in all I'll say they're really good lights uh, I think they've got a max of about 24 by 18 coverage or so maybe it's up to 30 on length but it starts dropping off on par a lot once you get past 24 so this is a six foot tank obviously uh, for best results you want to run three you could probably get away with two on this but uh, you're gonna have some dark spots in the center but if you're running something like a 40 a 40 breed or something like that you could probably get away with one uh, just depending on what sort of coral you have so that is going to be it guys. If you have any questions on these lights, uh, just let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. Alright, thanks guys.